Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Get Really Cold Wrenching in My Backyard and record it for some reason. Anyways, today we are back. Um, remember a few episodes ago, and by a few I mean like a lot of episodes ago, probably 15, uh, I touched on the fact that I need new calipers in the back of my truck because the ones that are on it don't have an e-brake option. So I went and bought Eldorado ones that do. So that's the plan today. It's cold, but I'm gonna get it done. So as you can see right here, this is the e-brake cable. Currently, has absolutely no way to get connected to this caliper. The next bit here is pretty straightforward. That bolt, that bolt, and then the brake line, which is right there. Sick. All right, here's the two calipers side by side. So this is the old one, obviously. Look, bear. This one has a spring for the e-brake, but other than that, they're 100% identical. One side's caliper together, and put her in. Now here's the tricky part. See, the factory e-brake pulls towards the center of the diff, where this wants you to pull it forward towards the front of the truck. What's going on everyone? Today we are back. It is a beautiful day out and we have got some things on the agenda. So, I showed you me working on this thing, putting the new calipers in. Well, that was for nothing. Yeah, that's right. So we're going back to drums because I cannot figure out how to get the damn e-brake connected to the, cables that are, to the cables that are existing in the truck. So, it's going back to drums just to get through an inspection. I borrowed a set of drums on axle shafts from a friend. There you go, drums back on. Hey, look, e brake lines up. Don't have uh, the pin anymore, so it's gonna get a nut and bolt, but. It's gonna work. All right, good news. So, I found out that my friend Ryan is coming to town next week with a car trailer to drop off at Tacoma. Great news, because that means he's gonna be heading back to Fernie Empty, which is where the inspection's taking place. So, I've got till next weekend to get this thing ready to go. So, on a schedule today, replace the uh, drum brake on the other side, because I didn't actually get to doing that yesterday. I had to go. Um, I gotta get the fuel neck into its spot. It's it's tough with one person with the body lift, but I might be able to do it or get my wife to help me. Um, there's others. Oh yeah, pull these seats out, put the back, put the put the bench seat back in, and um, yeah, take my drive shaft out because I gotta bring that in to get it made into a one piece as well. So let's get to it. <laughs> Go 
got myself a chair. <laughs> got it off. I was about to say that I'm at a standstill because I need these bolts uh, because the discs use the different bolt or sorry nut but uh, then I remembered there's an axle on my deck guess what it has the bolts I need Drop on her. I'm gonna lift this up and put it up into the hole and you're just gonna tighten it in. Okay. You're gonna tighten it in this one. So as you can tell, all three bolts are in, and I got my wife to help me. And uh, yeah, check that out. All right, so now I'm just putting the license plate uh, lights back in. There you have it. My license plate lights work. So you can go from there in the drum to here. After all the bends, it's gonna be close, but it should be long enough. So that's close, eh? It's in here, bent up, bent up, bent up, and it should maybe just reach there once it's said where it needs to be. Whew, that was lucky. There's mud flap one. I have no idea where the other mud flap is. I'm gonna go in, on Amazon and buy a new set of better looking ones anyways, but uh, yeah. That's it for today's video, guys. Um, got a lot done, actually. A little bit more, oh, it's not on film, but uh, I got Sam to help me. The brakes are now bled. The brakes work good. The e-brake works today. That's, that's sweet. That's a lot of progress for today on its own. Um, yeah, ran that new line. Tested it out, went back forth, back forth in my driveway here. The brakes were good. The brakes were good. Um, a couple things, tidied up, a cup, tidied up a couple vacuum lines in the engine bay. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I got more done today. Like I guess I did some running around, filled up the coolant, made sure everything was topped up, that's for sure. And, yeah. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Scratch that. I'm not saying goodbye yet. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard or not, but YouTube has really changed its um, monetization policy. Um, I just hit the old threshold of 10,000, and then I could monetize. And that's been stripped from me. I'm no longer going to be monetized because they have increased the minimum requirements to be monetized. You need 4,000 view hours and 1,000 subscribers. Right now I'm about 160 subscribers, so if you guys could please do me a solid, hit that subscribe button. It really helps. And uh, yeah, check out some of my other videos. Now for real. Peace.